Hey, welcome back to Rob's Garage Woodworking. Today I'm going to show you how to do a seasonal tire changeover. So what you should do is get your winter tires put on uh, either steel rims so you can look on, uh, you know, the buy and sell ads to get the same uh, rims that your car had that somebody's getting rid of and uh, put some winter tires on those and save yourself some bucks and still get some good style. All right, so we're gonna chalk the wheels. I use some old bricks that I have. I just kick them underneath, just like that. And then in the back, just kick them underneath. And that'll prevent your car from rolling backwards or forwards while you're jacking it up. So underneath your car, there's a flange that runs all the way along. You can't just jack it up anywhere. Over here, you see the flange is reinforced. Over here, that's your jack point. You have one in the front and in the rear, just before the wheel, okay? If you don't have an impact gun, use a braking bar. This is, what, a 19 mil? Uh, 19 mil for the Civics and the CRVs. What we're going to do is we're gonna loosen these first, and we're just gonna loosen them a little bit, just one turn, right? So do one, skip one, two, right? Skip one, three. You'll see how easy these come off with the braking bar. Skip one, four, skip one, and five. Oops. Okay, one turn. Then you'll be able to take them off with uh, your ratchet or you know speeder handle, whatever. So next, you're going to want to jack it up. Jack your car up until the tires are all the way off the ground. By an inch or two. So because I have an impact gun, I'm going to use it because it's faster. Put it in reverse. Take all these off. You see how my wheel just popped off? A lot of people's wheels are gonna be stuck on really difficult. <laughs> so what happens is you'll have to kick the sidewall and you'll really have to kick it. You'll really have to hammer it. You can do it frontwards, or you can do the donkey kick. Doesn't really matter. Don't hit your bumper. Hit the wheel, you can do both sides just to loosen it off so you can pull it off. Okay. Now, these are directional tires. You see the pattern on them. So you can't put them backwards on your car. You're not supposed to, they don't handle as well. Directional tires will have an arrow. This one says rotation, and it shows the rotation going this way. So when you're driving forward, the tire spins like this. So next year when I put this on, this is going to go from left front to left rear. Okay, so next year when I put this on in the fall, I'll put this from the left front to the left rear. That way it gets rotated, okay? This one, doesn't matter which way you run these tires. They're omnidirectional, so there's no outside, there's no inside. And it doesn't matter which direction you put them on. So you can cross the tires, you can run them back to front and side to side when you rotate them. All right, while you're here, this is your strut. Look for oil leaks on the strut. If it's wet, it could be leaking, and then you can test it. Check your brake hoses and things. Check your ABS wire. It's your ABS wire. ABS wire goes in here. Check your tie rod, right? Tie rod ends here. This is your Staby link right there. Check your Staby link. That goes to your anti-roll bar. Check that, that all looks good. So here's your disc. Your brake pads fit in this caliper here. And to look right in here, that shows you 
your brake pads on how much pad is left. So you could look up here and let's see if I can show you accurately. This guy here, that brake pad is a lot more worn than the inside. The outside is worn more than the inside. Okay, but it looks like there's probably about 50% pad wear left on that. So that's good for another year. I'll check that again in the fall. Okay, lift them up, put the top on first. In. Once they're hanging off of it, put one on the top. Just hand start it. Hand start both of them at the top. Here. Once they're hand started, you're good. Then you can use your gun. Push it at the bottom with your toe. That lets you start the other ones really easily. Take your gun, put it forward. All right, so we're gonna start at the bottom here just to pull the tire on. So I'm just gonna pull the tire on, so I'm not gonna do too much here. Just start it up a little bit, skip one, go to the next one. Just kind of pushing the tire on, pushing the wheel on. Okay, skip one, go to the next one. 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 So now the wheel's in all the way, and it looks straight up and down, it looks good. So we're just going to give it, we're just going to feather it a little bit and give it a couple of shots. A couple of shots, a couple of shots, a couple of shots, a couple of shots. And then we'll drop this one and tighten it. So now we're going to lower the vehicle, lower it down, pull the jack out of the way. So then you're going to use your torque wrench. These things aren't very expensive. I think this one was like $80 on sale here in Canada. This is a big one. Set this one. CRV and the Civic are 80 foot pounds, so check to make sure what your proper torque is for your vehicle. Mine's 80 foot pounds for these. So we're gonna start here, torque it off. When you hear it click, that's torqued. Okay. Skip one, go to the next one. Torque it. Skip one, go to the next one, torque it. Skip one, go to the next one, torque it. Skip one, go to the next one. Okay, tighten it up, torque it. So you've done one, skip one, two, skip one, three, skip one, four, skip one, five, right? And that's it, that's one wheel finished. And don't forget to fill your tires to the correct tire pressure. Yeah, it says here, tire pressure cold. The front gets 33 PSI. The rear gets 30 PSI. It says tire and loading information. That's right on the driver's door of your car, okay? So I have a digital tire gauge that I use and this works while I'm inflating the tire too. I just stop it and it'll give me a reading. So pretty simple. Put this on. We're at 31.5, so that's fine. I don't have to do anything with that one. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's how you change over your, your tires, your seasonal changeover from winter to summer, summer to winter, same idea, okay? And it's quick, it's easy. This will save you money. Um, then go into the dealership, and you can get it done when you want to do it. So right now it's tire change season, so you might wait a month to get your tires changed at your dealership or your local garage, whatever. And I can do this myself, all four wheels in 20 minutes. So that's how easy it is. All right. Anyway, thanks for watching.